our country is a democratic country and democracy is not just a constitutional democracy decided in 1947 or 1950 but democracy is a spirit for us by consensus taking the decision and if any change we want to do we'll do it by our consensus and it's our long tradition for long many years so for in thousands of our years of our history we are evolved by discussions and discussions vade vade jayate tatva bodha by discussions we will get evolve the things and then we by our understanding enhancing our understanding and knowledge we will uh, take up the new things that is our tradition but some people they want to force some people for their political interest economical interest or they use the different means that is conspiracies uh, they they use the money power they use the technology power and they capture our they try to capture our minds by malicious means and objectives intentions so in the new world there are last 100 years we have seen such type of conspiracies world over nowadays uh, one world is uh, very much in our reading or very much common in the media that is urban naxal so better we, sh- we must know how what is urban naxal and how they work what is their methodology to work urban naxals means those people those who don't believe in our culture those who don't believe in any system any traditions and they actually want to conspire they want to destroy it but for this they don't take the arms in their hand but they support the people who have arms in their hand these people they support all such divisive activities at different level all such activities which are destroying our culture our identities and of course they by using the soft means all soft means available they do their work so by seeing you may see them as professor as filmmaker as lawyer as human rights activist or as women activist or whatever rupam they will take but uh, in in short inside they will have the connectivity and they will do the same conspiracies again and again by different means one example i will give they were organizing in jnu they were organizing on 16 february 19 uh, 9 february 2016 they were organizing a program named cultural evening name was cultural evening but it was not culture because you will see cultural evening means some music some dance no no it was not like that it was to pray homage to the uh, the the man behind the attack on our parliament so such was the case so name was cultural evening and they were supporting the such terrorist beyond behind the name of cultural evening like that uh, these people do such things so now there is a the initial classical initial marxism was just for the poor people and they were taking the economical issues then it became it became to andhra pradesh and then it became uh, the rights of tribal and they took the uh, they put the hand, uh, guns in the hands of tribals then it went to bihar and then they said the uh, caste uh, class is a caste in bharat and they it was a huge violence in the name of caste in bihar ultimately it was replaced by the caste politics that was the end of that uh, caste uh, marxism or uh, urban marxism and then finally it came to the uh, their agents were in the all public life so they were always supporting their violent activities their divisive activities nowadays they have turned their coats and now they are attacking uh, they are connecting with others other organizations and now they are attacking uh, all through 
our cultural symbols all through our cultural traditions and etc etc so nowadays one day you see about attacking the our families our families then they will say uh, the relations between husband and wife relation between father and their sons and daughters so patriarchy they will pose the family as a family when you are in family you are victim like that they will uh, confuse us and you will see no no it's a very cultural issue there is no violence no marxism it's a intellectual discussion debate no it's not a intellectual discussion or debate it's a conspiracy to destroy your family structure because they see that once they destroy what is established then and then only they can establish their things in china also it was a cultural revolution what was what was the relation with culture and marxism but it was a cultural revolution in china and they destroyed the buddha only bamiyan the terrorist they destroyed the buddha murtis buddha statues big statues but it was in henan province of china there is also caves like ajanta they were also destroyed by the this cultural revolution in china by the marxism so in different states in different area they take a different form or different rupa but their attack will be on our symbols like they will attack the rama even they will not spare our kartikeya bhagwan kartikeya bhagwan and they, he is well so they will attack anything whatever we are practicing for so many years they will attack our temples they will attack our practices and everything they will attack so now these type of attacks are going on in future they will all they attack our symbols like subhash chandra bose they will attack his personality they will attack on the they will question the savarkar's national uh, his contribution in our national freedom struggle so everything what is related with our tradition with our nation with our identity it will be questioned by them so we should our youth should be ready for this that we should not get confused so if we refer to last their books to their lectures to their campaigns then we, we may get confused so uh, the today's youth has to refer to the primary source they have to do, don't judge the things just by their social media campaigns or just by the, its presence in the wikipedia or google because there is a algorithm to manipulate all these things all these platforms it is necessary that we should go to the primary source so now it's a new battle for all our youth that let us wake up let us understand our culture our tradition let us go to our original text let us go to the original veda let us go to the original upanishad let us go to the what pirvalur says what sangam literature says so we have to go to the roots that is very important we have to go to the all traditions our family structure our relations and see what what actually in west the people are real victims of all this new urban nationalism and all these new concepts so because of all these new concepts their families are actually destroyed destroyed they are facing the 46% of divorce rate in developed countries 43% are children are there only with the mother or father single family so all these changes are happening and they are facing lot of depressions psychological problems all welfare activities are with the state so whether we want such type of future no so it should be our choice our open mind free mind so come out of all these cages of all these campaigns over the, for long years they have created they are put us put us in a cages so we have to come out of it actually real liberation will be come out from all these cages so uh, really we have to understand our dharma by our own eyes by our own original text we have to understand our history by our own archaeological primary sources because many people have misguided us and so finally we have to 
लुक टुवर्ड्स अवर पीपल अवर भारत माता अवर पीपल अवर लैंग्वेजेस यस ऑल अवर लैंग्वेजेस आर ग्रेट लैंग्वेजेस दे हैव ग्रेट पोटेंशियल एंड दे हैव द ग्रेट कैपेसिटी फॉर द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड ऑल अवर लैंग्वेजेस दे आर रिलेटेड टू ईच अदर दे हेल्प ईच अदर दे आर सिस्टर्स ऑफ एंड ब्रदर्स ऑफ ईच अदर सो वी हैव टू रिस्पेक्ट अदर्स ऑल्सो Yes, we should be proud of our state. We should be proud of our language. We should be proud of our names, traditions, etc. But we should also respect others. That is our culture. We should not hate anybody. So that is not our culture. So real secularism will be to respect and not just to tolerate, but to respect others and take them as true. That is our culture. So I think uh, uh, this is most needed. And today's youth. has to come up and rise above all these divisive practices and they have to think by their own